Hey guys, this is Taz from re Vision Gaming, and I'm going to walk you through a quick guide on how you can grab the Celestial Mirror, Sun Sigil, and Calabog, Tidus' Celestial Weapon. They're all in the same area. You can get it pretty early on in the game before you even set foot on Mount Gagazet. What you want to do is ride a Chocobo to Remium Temple, grab the Cloudy Mirror, from the Chocobo Race mini game. Then backtrack to Makalania Woods. And I like to start from the back side because you start from where the two multicolored butterflies appear on the map. <clears throat> so there's not a whole lot of backtracking. Now you have to get the butterfly fetch quest done before the side quest for the Celestial Mirror becomes available. What you're going to want to do is find the multicolored butterflies in the last two areas of Makalania Woods heading towards Makalania Temple. And you'll grab seven blue butterflies in each area. And then there's these red butterflies, which I just ran into, and they carry monsters in them that have, they're a little bit more beefed up, higher stats, higher item, like rare item percent drop rates, things like that. So if you're a little bit behind on early game grinding, this can be a way to kind of fix it right before you get the summoning Shiva, uh, just as a little bit of advice. Uh, now you go through here, grab the rest of the butterflies, and you'll get two chess rewards for doing this. One comes with two elixirs, the other one comes with two mega elixirs. After you get done with the butterfly quest, then you start your next side quest in Makalania Woods, which is to rescue a lost father that couldn't keep track of his wife and kid while they were camping in the woods, I guess. I, it's pretty vague, but do that, then you find the little boy, because he goes missing, of course. And I'll walk you guys through that. It's very simple. Yeah, let's come up here and grab this chest real quick. There's those elixirs. Now we'll move on to the next area to grab the second set of butterflies. It'd be really hard to catch a butterfly with just like your hands instead of a net. But video game logic. Alright, now that I'm done being so rudely interrupted, here's the Mega Elixirs. So, I just want to point out, this is why I said in the beginning of the video that I like to start from the backside of Makalania Woods, over by the temple, because it just lines you up perfectly to start the next side quests automatically makes the sequence really fluid that's 
how it's done. All right. So right there at the but at the divide where the fork is, this is the next side quest. Little wife and kid are like, "Oh no, Daddy's gone missing. Help us, please, help us." Like, well, all right, you know, I'm on a mission to save the world from a cataclysmic monster that causes destruction on just about a nuclear scale but let's go find your husby there you go you, you worthless father running away from your wife and kid trying to bail out weren't you anyway bring him back and then they're all hunky dory and grateful same spot right there in the fork in the road except oh no now the little boy is missing Whatever shall we do? Well, you're gonna just talk to both of them twice. That way, the sequence actually activates. You have to talk to both NPCs twice and head into Asgard through the Rainbow Bridge and get yourself some celestial weapons. Now, you won't actually be able to activate the big tree that gives it to you unless you have picked up a celestial weapon but you will not have been able to pick up a celestial weapon until you transform the cloudy mirror into this Oh, thanks a bunch for finding me, Pops. Hey, uh, Deadbeat. Me and Mum were worried sick. We couldn't find you. We had no idea how the rent was going to get paid or where the food was going. You know Mum doesn't work. Alright. So, I clipped out a little bit right here just because I went the wrong way. But you just hang a left. Back down the Rainbow Bridge into Midgard and what you're gonna want to do is go directly over to the calm lands from this point okay that is going to put you in the perfect setup to start this quest line I did activate the chocobo quest and got up to the catcher chocobo side mission before attempting to do this just to make it easier on myself a little fyi i would recommend doing that just complete the first three chocobo rider tutorials that the chocobo trainer has for you make sure you save right there because that's going to be your closest access to uh, you know trying again should you fail to reach that 0, 0.00 mark which I'm gonna let you guys know right now is all about luck it has nothing to do with skill sure there's little like tips and tricks that may help you or may not because just about every time you do this the spawning of the balloons is going to be random and so are the direction and dive paths of the seagulls that are coming at you the best way to go about it is to stick to the sides hug your little walls because yeah you'll you'll see this is just in my opinion the worst it's just the worst side quest that Square has ever really come up with to go about unlocking an ultimate weapon in a game I, I hate this I can't stand it 
But we're gonna go ahead and give it a shot. Keep getting interrupted by these random encounters. Now then, let's ride a chocobo and torment ourselves. So you don't actually ride the chocobo anywhere, you just get it there so that you have quicker access. Okay, setting things up in advance. Catch your chocobo, here we go. Now, in order to get this, you gotta hug that right side and try to get between four or five balloons on this ramp. Alright, good shape. Then cut over to your right to avoid those seagulls. You can dip back in a little bit to get more balloons. But you gotta be careful. And, ah, yeah, too many risks. You don't really want to cut across the middle right there because that's that's directly in their dive path. Um, yeah, cut over to the right and then back over to the left to really avoid the seagulls and hug that left side. The sweet spot you're looking for, with, which I did not hit right here, is 13 balloons and zero birds under 36 seconds. You can't just get your time at 0, 0.00. You have to beat it. But it won't show you the negative time. So that's your sweet spot to know that you beat it. Um, if you do manage to get hit by a bird, getting like, I think it's 14 balloons in one, or 15 balloons in one, that'll let you hit it. But let's be honest, getting 15 balloons on this is. Uh, really hard. So let's try this again. Now yeah, hug that right side. Also, if the trainer gets ahead of you, I didn't make it this time. This is a practice run. Definitely didn't make it. If the trainer gets in front of you on that ramp, you're pretty much toast one thing that you really want to rely on aside from alternating from right to left on those two parts is keeping the trainer behind you like as far behind you as you can because it'll delay the spawn of the steagles so you won't have to deal with as many so I mean it asks a lot of you you gotta get at least four to five balloons on the ramp Stay out of the lanes for the birds. Hope that the NPC for the trainer isn't smart and gets hit by the bird so that he falls behind enough to delay the dive patterns so that you can grab as many balloons as possible. It's it's a real headache, guys. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. It's really hard to do. I wish everybody attempting it luck and everybody that has done it before congratulations oh boy oh boy did I get it did I get it I think I was just a little bit off fifteen and two birds all right So 15 and two birds can get you that sun signal. That's what I'm talking about. 
No, we're not going to do it one more time. I got what I needed. Trophy didn't pop because I've done this before on my PlayStation 3. So that's why I got the chocobo there. The guy standing on that cliff in the brown jacket, he is usually blocking the way to Kalabog. But now that I have the Celestial Mirror and I've won that training, I can ride my chocobo over. If you don't have any no encounter weapons, it will take quite a while to trek across this and just mash fiends, but grab your chocobo, come over to this top left hand corner of the calm lands, and that emblem right there is going to react with your celestial mirror, and you're going to get Kalabog. So, um, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope this guide was helpful. Hope you enjoyed. Give me a like. Share it with your friends if you know anybody that plays Final Fantasy. And uh, do me a favor, subscribe. Uh, let me know your thoughts. And let me know what kind of content you'd like to see in the future. Thanks a lot.